Hello everybody, Miss Debbie here. I'm so glad to be with you tonight. Um, and it is getting to be nighttime. Uh, the sun is setting behind me in the west. Um, and uh, it is, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful evening. Um, we should celebrate every minute of every day and night. So, welcome to Bedtime Story. Um, well, hello. Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you today? I'm pretty good. Um, I, um, I had my dinner and I cleaned up the kitchen. I still have my apron on. And uh, now we're going to do story time. And, um, I see a little doggy walking up the street behind me, and of course my dog is barking, but whatever. Um, it's almost the end of summer. So, have you come to the library to pick up books? Um, the lobby is open, and what you do is you could either call on the phone and say, Miss Sam, would you please pick me out a stack of books that you think I'd like? I want some dinosaur stories and a robot story and a ballerina story. Or you can go to the library catalog um, with an older person, your mom or a sister or brother who's older, and pick out the books that you want online and they'll be ready for you right away. And then you come into the library like I did and pick them all up. They'll be there with your name on it. And, of course, when you go outside into uh, the public area, you're going to put your mask on. So remember my funny mask? Somebody made this for me, and um, I, I discovered you could, I could put the red, the red dot up there so I look like a, a clown. <laughs> no comments, please. So, but anyway, so I wear my mask outside, but since... Since I'm alone here in my backyard, I'm not going to breathe on anybody and nobody's going to breathe on me, so I can take this, this thing off. It's pretty. Can you, can you tie a bow if you had a, a mask that had this kind of thing? It's kind of fun. It's reversible. See, the other side's blue, so it's very fashionable. Um, so, yeah, our season uh, is turning. Summer is officially over, and it's autumn, or fall, and we have a beautiful month of October to look forward to. Um, you can see, if you look around, some of the leaves are already turning their colors, and the squirrels are busy gathering nuts um, so they can have food for over the winter. and. Uh, yeah, we, we might be closing up our gardens, so, um, but it's good, they're great days for, for taking walks because it's, it's not too hot out and uh, it's not raining and it's not too cold out yet, so it's a good day for a walk. So, on that note, we have a story called Tweak Tweak by Eve Bunting, illustrated by Sergio Rosier. And it's about a little, um, a little elephant who takes a walk with his mommy. So he's going to hold her tail because he can't really hold her hand, right? But look at elephants have those wonderful trunks. So when he wants her attention, he's going to pull on her tail and go tweak, tweak, just like a little kid might pull on his mommy's apron when he wants her attention. Tweak, tweak. Mommy, mommy, tweak, tweak. Can you help me? <laughs> Come on, we've all done it. It's okay. It's a it's a, a gesture of love. Tweak tweak by Eve Bunting. I think the pictures are lovely, especially for a bedtime story. They're so soft. Soft and pastel watercolors. Hold on to my tail, little elephant, Mama Elephant said. Today we are going for a walk. If you want to ask me a question, 
tweak twice. Guess what? Where am I? Tweak, 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 tweak. Yes, my little elephant. Mama, what is that? Why, that is a frog. What is he doing? He's jumping. Can I jump, Mama? He's thinking about jumping. No, my little one, because you are not a frog. You are a little elephant, but you can stomp your foot and make a big sound. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Like that, Mama? Stomp, stomp. Just like that, my little elephant. And on they went. Tweet, tweak. Mama, what is that? That is a monkey up in the acacia tree. Can I climb up in the acacia tree? Look at how the monkeys are looking at the little elephant. Of course, it's just in his mind. Well, no, because you are not a monkey. You are a little elephant, but you can rub your back against the acacia tree and scratch, scratch. Did that feel good, my little elephant? Yes, Mama. And on they went. Tweak, tweak. <clears throat> Mama, what is that swimming in the river? That is a crocodile. Can I go swimming in the river, Mama? Look at those beautiful river rocks on the bottom. In another river, another time. But now you can pull up some river water in your trunk and spray it over yourself. Whoosh, whoosh. Did you know elephants do that? They, they pull up water in their trunk and spray it uh, to, I don't know, wash themselves or keep themselves cool. Did that feel good, my little elephant? Very good, Mama. And on they went. Tweak, tweak. Mama, what is that? That is a beautiful butterfly flying high in the sky. Can I fly high in the sky? What else is flying high in the sky? Let's, let's take a look. A kite, an airplane, a balloon, a bird, more balloons, another bird and their little butterfly. Take a look up in the sky. The sky's behind us. No, my little elephant, because you are not a butterfly. You are a little elephant but you can wave your ears back and forth, back and forth, like big butterfly wings. Swish, 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 swish. Did that feel good, my little elephant? Very, very good, Mama. And on they went. Tweak, 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 tweak. Mama, who is that singing? That is a songbird singing in the fig tree. Ooh, do you see the figs? It's fig season. Do any of your neighbors have fig trees? Can I sing like that, Mama? No, because you are not a bird. You are a little elephant, but you can trumpet like this. Use your long snout and trumpet. Try it again. Like that, Mama? Yes, just like that, my little elephant. And on they went. Tweak, tweak. Yes, my little elephant. Mama, what else can a little elephant do? A little elephant can walk through the jungle and across the grasslands holding her mother's tail. She can ask questions and learn. She can grow to be a big, strong, smart,
beautiful elephant. Like you, Mama? Yes, just like me. Tweak, tweak, Mama, can we go home now? Yes, my little elephant. Tweak, tweak, do you know the way back, my little elephant? Yes, Mama, I remember. And little elephant led Mama past the fig tree where the birds sang, past the place where the butterfly flew, past the river where the crocodiles swam, past the acacia tree where the monkeys climbed, past the place where the frog jumped, and all the way home. So you see, little elephant learned and she could lead her mama home. The end. Isn't that the sweetest book? You can get this book in the library. Oh, that was such a good song, good story. So let's have a nice, nice loving song to, to follow up. Skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do. I love you. Skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skid a rink a dink a dink, skid a rink a do. I love you. And remember baby sign language? I love you. I wonder. Maybe I'll try walking around. If I go down the street and do this to somebody, will they know? <laughs> will they know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is I love you. I'll try it. Maybe you'll try it too. Try it with your friends. It could be your secret sign language. Your way of saying hello. Okay. Oh gosh, you you are gonna love this story. Have you ever read this book? It's called We Forgot Brock by Carter Goodrich. I love, love, love this story and the pictures and the little tweak at the end. It's a story of a little boy who has perhaps an imaginary friend named Brock. Okay, so Brock is going to be in black and white and the little boy and everything else is going to be in the colors of the world. His name is Philip, the little boy. I love this story. I want to marry this story. Okay. All righty. This is Philip and Brock. They're best friends. They spend all their time goofing around together. Isn't look at how cute Philip is. He's adorable. The weird thing is nobody else can see Brock. Everybody calls him Philip's imaginary friend, whatever that means. So here's Philip's mom and dad looking out the window, but they don't see Brock. Look at how happy Philip is. At dinner, Philip might say something like, Brock would like some more, please. There's Brock sitting at the table. But his mom only pretends to give Brock seconds. So there's Brock and Philip. And there's mom just pretending. Look at, look at Philip scowling. Hmm. <laughs> or sometimes in the driveway, Philip yells, Wait, Dad, Brock has to move his chopper as Dad is backing out his car. Please ask Brock to hurry up, Philip's dad will say. <laughs> Brock can also be very funny, but Philip's parents never get it. So here's, here's Philip rolling on the floor laughing. 
And his parents are just sitting there like, what is going on with our child? One evening, the whole family piled into the car and headed to the big fair. <clears throat> Boy, that's one thing I miss about this summer. We, we had no fairs or carnivals. Maybe next summer. <clears throat> Brock wants us to ride the brain shaker, said Philip. Tell Brock the brain shaker is a big kid's ride, his dad said. At the big fair, Philip and Brock rode the merry-go-round first, then the bumper cars, and then the tilt-a-whirl. Those are rides you've probably ridden on. Philip got some cotton candy. Brock didn't want any. He only liked beans and spaghetti. Finally, after the Ferris wheel, Philip got sleepy. Look at him. He fell asleep on his daddy's shoulder. But Brock wasn't sleepy at all. It was time to ride the brain shaker. Wee! Look at these. Look at those kids up there. Wee! Philip woke up as soon as the car pulled into the driveway. Where's Brock? He yelled. Then he ran inside to see if maybe Brock was already home. But he wasn't. Aww. We forgot Brock, Philip sobbed. We forgot Brock. Back at the big fair, Brock couldn't find Philip. He went back on the Ferris wheel for a better view, but he couldn't see Philip anywhere. Are you okay? Somebody asked from above. Okay, so he's on the Ferris wheel, and there above him is a little girl with a parasol. Look at Brock, he has a little tear in his eye. Are you okay? Somebody asked from above. Brock said he was lost and he wanted to go home. My name is Anne, the little girl said, and this is Princess Sparkle Dust. Would you like to come home with us? So Princess Sparkle Dust, Anne, and Brock all went home together. The next day, Princess Sparkle Dust and Anne found Brock sitting all by himself. He missed Philip very much. They did magic tricks to cheer him up. Then the three of them began to invent games and tell each other stories. Meanwhile, Philip spent the day looking for Brock. Brock! He searched everywhere, but he couldn't find him. Just as Brock was beginning to have a lot of fun, he remembered how much he missed Philip. And then he saw, look what he saw on the telephone pole, the picture of Brock, lost Brock. <gasps> he remembered how he loved Philip. And just as Philip was about to give up his search, Brock! Doesn't that give you the chills and make you want to do a happy dance? Brock! Brock 
introduced Philip to his new friends, Anne and Princess Sparkle Dust. From then on, Philip, Brock, Anne, and Princess Sparkle Dust all became best friends. They spent all their time goofing around together. And everything was even better than before. Isn't that the best story in the world? We forgot Brock. I love Brock and I love Philip too. I, I love this book. This is the kind of book I want to keep for myself. But I won't take a book from the library unless I re return it. If I want to keep a book for myself, I buy it, if you can still buy it. Okay, so um, let's see. Do any of did any of you go to school today, or did you go have a play date with a friend? Um, maybe you went to play in the park with some friends. Sometimes my mommy takes me over to my friend's house to play. Sometimes she's gone a little while, and sometimes she's gone all day. But my mommy comes back, my mommy comes back, my mommy comes back to get me. My mommy comes back, she always comes back, she never would forget me. I love that song too. I used to sing that to my little boy, who's a big boy now. Our next book is called Helicopter. So you know what a helicopter is. It's a whirly bird, a helicopter. Um, but this is a little elephant who's got like a whirly thing on his head and he is the helicopter, the elephant copter. This book is by Michael Slack. Another of my favorite books. You can tell I was in the library looking for books. Oops, here's the little helicopter making friends with a little bird. And here he is. Looks like looks like he has water landing skis on his feet too. Ooh, helicopter is a little girl. She scans the savanna from high above. Look. There's an acacia tree. Right? Didn't we just see one in the other book? Patrolling the sky, it's a labor of love. So she's, she's like your night watchman or day watchman. Looks like she's returning a, a little bird to the nest and um, leading, leading some other birds away from a thunderstorm. Whatever her mission, she always succeeds. A benevolent elephant on a flying stampede. So in the top picture, she's rescuing the lion from the edge of the cliff. He can't see because his hair is in his face, right? See, take a look at that. And guess what she's doing? She's using her her whirly bird to give him a haircut. That's kind of cute. Look at all those little schnitzels of hair on the bottom. <laughs> cute. What's going on in this picture? Nothing, just leaves falling from a tree. Oh, I see what she's doing. The leaves are falling from the tree and she's raking them into a pile. Blowing, you know, like with a leaf blower. On the horizon, something's rising, a billowing cloud. Now look, look at that cloud and look at the mountain and look, what do you think? Fire, where there's smoke, there's fire. Smoke, trumpet the alarm, loud. Burr, burr, burr. Go, helicopter, go! And she's got rope and ladder and she's speeding toward the smoke. 
flying into danger, she's first on the scene to airlift a rhino from a rocky ravine. Aww. She scoops up Cheetah alone and marooned. Then lowers a ladder to the stranded baboons. Until all are aboard, nothing will stop her. Rev those rotors. Go, helicopter! Now she's, what they say, beating a hasty retreat. Once the animals are safe, zoom, off she goes. Look at, she's pulling up water into her trunk. Spraying the blaze with her fire hose nose. Working for peanuts, she's quite the contraption. A helicopter elephant, always ready for action. And there's the little baboon giving her a peanut. <laughs> Elephants, I hear, love peanuts. They take them in their, in their snouts. I don't know if you can see real elephants anymore. They don't allow in circuses. Um, but maybe on YouTube you could see elephants. Helicopter! And there she's got her pile of peanuts in front of her. Yum. The end. Okay. I love, I love elephants. Oh, so I guess, um, look at the sun is getting lower. It's getting a little darker. Um, maybe before we, we go in to go to sleep, we could play a game of catch. So I want to show you these fun things that I bought. These are called light up spike balls, okay? And uh, I don't know, can you see that? Can you see how they're sparkling? Wouldn't you love to play catch with these when it gets a little darker out? I think they're pretty neat. <laughs> I can't wait to find somebody to play catch with. Anyway. Okay, so it's getting time for Lily White's party. And, you know, um, we, we talked about what Lily White's party is. It's your clean Lily White sheets on your bed, and that's your party. And it is a party when it's time to sleep. If you've had a great day, there's nothing um, it's quite as nice as snuggling down into those crisp white sheets and hugging your pillow and maybe hugging your little your little um, sleepy time toy. This is Wolfie, my little sleepy time toy. I like to sleep with my dolls. So when we get ready for bed, um, we do a few things, okay? Put on our pajamas and we wash our face. This is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face before we go to bed. This is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair before we go to bed. And you should comb your hair when you get up in the morning too. And splash water on your face in the morning too. And brush your teeth in the morning too. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth before we go to bed. With or without toothpaste, does matter. And rinse out your mouth with water and, and it's all good. You'll have sparkling teeth and good breath. Ah. Oh, I have one more story. One more story. Okay. One more story. It's called I'm Not Sleepy, Story of a Little Owl by Jonathan Allen. 
And what do we know about owls? Owls are one of the animals that stay awake at night. They're called nocturnal, and they come out at night. They hunt for their food at night, and then they sleep in the daytime when other animals wake up. And I, I always love to see the transition between hawks and owls. So I live near some woods, and um, if I go walking early, you know, when it's dawn, you could still hear the owl, and then the hawks are starting to come out, but the owl is going to bed. Nature is a lot of fun if you pay attention to it. I'm not sleepy. Sometimes you might be saying that too, especially if you're going to bed when it's still light out. Baby owl had stayed up all night, as every owl does, and he looked very sleepy. Bedtime for a sleepy baby owl, called Mama. I'm not sleepy, grumbled baby owl. But he couldn't help giving a great big stretch. Oh. Then along bounced gray squirrel. Well, you look sleepy to me, baby owl, said gray squirrel. I'm not sleepy, said baby owl. I was just stretching my wings, said Baby Owl. I will be learning to fly soon, you know. Baby Owl settled back on his perch and yawned a great big yawn. <gasps> oh! That was a very big yawn, said Mouse. What a sleepy Baby Owl you are this morning. I'm not sleepy, said Baby Owl. I was just yawning because I am bored. Owls need lots of excitement, you know. Baby Owl settled back on his perch, and before long his head started to nod and his eyelids began to droop.